Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be doing a tarot reading for the disappearance of Holly Ellsworth Clark. Before I begin, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so that you'll get notified on my next upload because I'm uploading a new video every week and I'm also offering a free tarot reading for all of my subscribers so if you would like to have your reading with me you can just send a message to my email or a direct message to my Instagram all of the details will be in the description box below Holly Ellsworth Clark was last seen on January the 11th, 2020 by her roommates at her home in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Before she left her residence, Holly appeared to be suffering from some distress but is otherwise healthy and athletic. Holly did not have any history of going missing, she's not suicidal and there has been no activity on her bank account or social media. Hamilton police have conducted a thorough investigation including ground search, social media posts, and continue to follow up on various leads and tips with negative results. Holly is described as a white female with brown eyes and brown hair with red highlights. She also has distinctive short bangs. She is 185 cm or 6 foot weighs 90.5 kg and has a muscular build. On the morning of January the 10th, 2020, Holly phoned her parents in Calgary to request help returning home. During the call, Holly would share the frightening yet vague details of a traumatic experience that led her to spend the prior night running for her life from either a real or imagined threat. It was obvious she needed help, but shortly before her father arrived, she walked out of her apartment and into the cold air and pouring rain. Alright, let's just start with the reading. Okay, let's see what we have here. From the first deck, we have Son of Swords, Ten of Cups, the Judgment card, Six of Swords, Three of Pentacles, the Tower, Two of Wands, Five of Cups, and Nine of Swords. So we can see here that we have an energy from this Son of Swords, and we know that Holly told her parents that she has been followed by two men, but since we only have one person's energy, I I think that what she said was not just her imagination or at least there's one person followed her and she really didn't feel safe at that time this six of swords here I feel that this reminds me of how she left the house on the pouring rain and as we can see here there's a rainbow so I feel that she was trying to find a safe place where she can wait for the parents or where she feel that whoever trying to get her will not be able to find her. And there's these two of wands with the rainbow background here. I feel that this is the connection of where she she's going so it's not that she will left the house and just go without knowing where she will end up i feel that she has plan in mind at least or she probably been to this place before and she knows where to go to be in a separate place and this tree of pentacles here with the mountain in the back i feel that she went to some like a higher place I'm not sure if there's any like a highland or you know like a mountain or hill somewhere near her home I'm not so familiar with the area but it's, it's kind of like she went hiking somewhere but there's the tower card here so I feel that something happened during her trip there or 
during her stay there in this place that she went to. Okay, so we see that there's five of cups and nine of swords here. So I really feel that whatever happened is a combination of both. Someone was following her and she felt threatened and it was kind of triggering her mental state and that's why she couldn't wait at home for the parents to come and pick her up because I feel that she was paranoid and feel that someone is there to get her and she needed to find a better, a safer place to hide. This Ten of Cups here and the Judgment here, I feel that this is how the person make her feel safe at first. I feel like this is not a stranger. It might be someone she knows or try to get close to and then he tried to do something to her and that's what make her feel unsafe and wanted to run away. I would like to draw more cards to get more insight about this case. So from the second deck, we have Ten of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Three of Swords, Justice, Four of Pentacles, Seven of Chalices, The Sun, Two of Wands, and the Hierophant. As usual, we're gonna see what are the cards that appear twice in this reading. So we have the Justice card here, appear twice, and then Three of Pentacles, and Two of Wands. Okay, so I really feel with the Three of Pentacles here that she is finding a safer place but she knows where she should be hiding. And the Justice card here, I, f I hope that this means that the police will have answers of what happened to her soon. And these two of wands shows that she knows where to go, she has plan on her own and and as you can see there's also mountain here in the background so I really feel like if there's any higher place around her area I think that's where she is hiding. If you know more information about this please share it in the comment section below. Okay, so we have another person's energy here as page of swords so i feel that this is all this energy and it it's interesting how this can be paired with this son of swords so i'm wondering if this person is her boyfriend or someone close to her There's this Ten of Pentacles here and Ten of Cups here. These two usually connected to family. So I'm wondering if the person who made her feel unsafe is somehow knows the family. That's why she wouldn't wait and just ran off because she was afraid that he would be able to find her because she just contacted her family. I don't know. And there's three of swords here. This could mean that she was injured and this could explain the tower cards from the first deck. I think that something happened to her and she was injured somehow this to make me feel that she was not okay i think something happened to her and 
That's why she couldn't came out from wherever she went to and tried to call her family and let them know that she is okay. And there's this seven of chalices. This is like my cliche card in my true crime reading because it appear so many times and usually for me it's connected to drugs or alcohol. So I don't know if she was using drugs or had been drinking, but one of these could also be the reason why she felt unsafe. And this fourth pentacles here, I feel that someone knows more than he or she would want to admit. Even if this person didn't know where Holly went, but I think that at least he or she knows what happened that led Holly to feel unsafe. And this shows us that this person is withholding information. And now this the sun card, I feel that this is about the place she went to because as you can see this is on top of two of wands and another two of wands here so I feel like she went to a place where it's high enough to see like a sunset or sunrise from up there or this could also mean that she went to one of the direction where the sunrise or the sunset which is she probably go to the east or the west side of the area and the Hierophant here, I feel that this is about how she had been taught about all of this, how to hike and how to, you know, do something and get to a safer place if she feels that she is unsafe. From the Oracle card, we have patience, leadership and courage. I feel like these three cards tell us that she lead herself to find a safer place for her and the courage shows that she felt that was the right thing to do to be able to fight whoever was after her and that she needed to find the courage to go out on her own and the patient card here tells us that we need to be patient and hopefully the truth will come out soon so yeah, I think that's all the reading for Holly Ellsworth Clark. And once again, this is for entertainment purpose only. I don't mean to offend anybody here. And I hope that she will be found soon and she's okay. I would like to hear your opinion about this case too. So please share it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next Answer of Cases reading.